In this video, I'm going to show you how to format date time uh, component within Dynamics 365 customer service application. So I'm in Dynamics 365 customer service hub application. I'm in the case record over here. You can see a field called as created on. Now created on is a date field like that. You can have other uh, date fields within your application. So if you click on edit columns and if I click on add columns over here, then I can add uh, other date related fields. So one of them would be modified on. Okay, so it's a date time field. So if I select this, I can click on close and then apply. So then I should be able to see uh, a modified on uh, column alongside uh, all the other columns listed over here. Now created on, modified on, and date column. Uh, so here, uh, if you see the format, it's dd dash mm dash yyyy and then the time component. Now, if you want to uh, change it, then you can definitely do that from a personal capacity as well as from a system capacity as well. So, uh, first look into the personal part. So, if I click on this settings icon over here, and if I click on personalization settings, then uh, if you see here uh, under general, uh, I can see a lot of settings uh, over here. So I can select the time zone, I can select the currency, I can select the country region, but the actual formatting is present over here in format. So if I click on formats, then now currently it is picking up English India. Okay. Now, if I want to select English Australia, okay then i select english australia i can see the number currency time how it will be displayed and i can click on ok now the moment i do that then uh, if you see the short dates are represented with slash and not with dash okay so if i click on ok then uh, this page will refresh and it will show the information uh, it will keep the same formatting dd mm y y y y uh, but then instead of dash, uh, it will introduce uh, a slash because now this has changed the country. Okay, uh, so let me click on this. So now if you see the created on uh, column is now changed okay now this is all slash okay because we have changed the country format now you can go ahead further and you can again go back to the personalization settings and then click on format and then within there if even within this current format english australia you can customize it further so if you think that uh, for date uh, you want a short date format like that and maybe date separated as slash or maybe dash or maybe comma you can do that okay and you can select the short date format as well uh, within australia usually people use dd mmyy but if you want to change that you can go ahead and do that over here okay uh, now instead of slash i can make it dash or dot okay so like that i can make those change and i can select the long date format and the long date preview will be shown over here now this is at a personal level so this is like individual user can make those changes but this is not applicable globally so if you want to have some sort of a format defined at a global level so then uh, as an admin if you click on settings and if we go on to the advanced settings then under settings under system go to administration and here you can set various uh, settings like languages, auto numbering, system settings, uh, system notifications. From here, you can select formats and then again, the same interface appears. Now, remember that at a global level, this is English US, but internally you have set it to English Australia. So that means two times exist, you know. Uh, so user has a preference to change it to anything now at a system settings level this is your entire dynamics 365 tenant level uh, you can uh, put 
pick whatever uh, current format you want like say if i select english canada okay uh, then at a tenant level this will be applicable but if you want to uh, personalize it further so take for example if your tenant is hosted in canada but then you have people working in india australia indonesia malaysia then individual users residing at that location can make use of personalization settings to uh, suit their uh, currency or language format and then use the system accordingly so that's it folks this is how you basically use uh, uh, personalization settings and advanced settings to make change to the date time format within dynamics 365 customer service app thanks for watching